Uh, now, uh, Mr. Nyoki. Uh, it's pronounced Genoji. I don't think so. Now, Mr. Nyoki, what exactly would you bring to our program? Uh, is, is this like one of those desert island questions where I only get to bring three things? Absolutely not. Oh, well, uh, I mean, in, in that case, I probably most of my stuff, maybe not my, my winter clothes, is fairly warm here. Uh, I... Now, uh, Mr. Nyoki, before we continue, I just want to point out that our Obigain residency program takes the medical school preparation of our applicants very seriously. Looking at your application, I can't help but notice that while you did very well in second year and on the boards, you were in the bottom of your class third year and in fact received an F on your Obigain rotation. Ah, uh, yes, but uh, F is two letters better than H. Yeah? Yeah. But, but, but I, I, I retook it and got the honors. Uh, you got a pass. And in his letter of recommendation, your attending said he only passed you after you agreed to personally call and apologize to every patient you saw. Well, I... One of my patients complained of having an infection, which my resident claim was due to candida based on cultural results without any statistical analyses. I was not convinced, though, that candida was the actual infecting agent. So, like any good scientist, I tried to apply the criteria of Cox postulate. And how did that go for oh, you? Oh, splendidly! Uh, the candida I collected from the infected patient successfully infected other patients, giving them the exact same symptoms. I got some beautiful figures. Uh, and uh, gave myself the yeast infection. I'm sorry to say, but without a strong track record of success in medical school, we have no way of knowing whether you can do well in our residency program. Uh, ah, but it's okay, you know, because I have got the backup. I got the PhD in cell biology. Uh, it should say that on my resume, uh, somewhere near the top there. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I didn't see that. You're an MSTP student, graduating with an MD-PhD. Ah. And it says here you spent six years working on the development of uh, nematode vulvae. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I investigated the role of signaling for receptor tyrosine kinases in C. elegans lot of the development. And by ectopically activating the intercellular MAPK signaling cascade in the dermal syncytium, I was able to increase proliferation of vulva cells in hermaphroditic C. elegans by more than fivefold. So, uh, you made worm genitalia? Uh, yes, I made them. Uh, I made them very big. Mm -hmm. uh, so, let me ask you then, uh, now, what, what if you were doing a shift in our clinic, and one day you come across a patient who isn't a worm? Ah, yes. You know, it does not have to be C. elegans, Gentilia. I can use the science to study anything. Oh, anything. So you, you can study, say, uh, chicken genitalia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about mouse? Oh, yeah, mouse is easy. And zebrafish? Any kind of fish. I love fish. How about uh, barnacle genitalia? Ah, they're the best ones, you know. And fruit fly? Oh, it can be hard to find, but uh, yeah, I could do it. Oh, you can? <laughs> yeah. That is very wonderful. And if a patient came in complaining of, say, thrush, you could just uh, grow them a new vulva. Uh, yes, I, I can. Uh, but I would have to get IRB approval for working with human tissue. Uh, IRB and I always some problems, ethics, poor standing. Uh, it will be a lot of paperwork. Too much paperwork. Yeah. <sighs> I guess the question I'm really trying to get at, and this is a purely hypothetical situation, if a patient comes to you complaining of an obstetrics or gynecological problem, what are you capable of doing to help them? Again, um, purely hypothetical. Oh, well, you know, I, I usually like to start off by building some rapport with the patients. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very good with women. Uh, I usually begin with a conversation about the TV show they like, like the, uh, the Two Broken Girls or, uh, or Downtown Abbey. Downtown Abbey? Yeah, yeah, Downtown Abbey, you watch it? Say mountain. Uh, mountain? <sighs> uh, can I show you some pictures of my research? Uh, it was published in Peanuts, you know. It's quite amazing how big C. elegans can get if you just give them a little stimulation. Get out of my office! <laughs> <laughs>